Prince Harry's tell-all memoir, Spare, has suffered an embarrassing setback, having been dramatically slashed in price before it's even hit the shelves. Waterstones, the UK's biggest book retailer, has cut the price by a whopping 50% on undoubtedly one of the biggest memoirs of 2023. The book, which is set to be released on January the 10th, was £28, but it's now available for just £14. Reacting to the news on Twitter, one person wrote, I told Mama that Prince Harry's book will be half price in Waterstones when it's published. Her eyes lit up when I said that. I told her to forget about it, she's not getting it unless it's a copy that I can burn. The book will be 416 pages long and translated into 16 different languages. It's been rumoured that it will feature details of the bad blood between he and his brother Prince William, as well as explosive comments on leaving the royal family a few years ago. As soon as the book cover was launched, a website was created to go with it, featuring more details of the book, including its price according to Amazon. The Kindle version is at £13.99, while the hardcover is £28. There will be an audio CD version costing just £25. Family members were not informed of the spare title in advance of the announcement yesterday, while the Spanish language version is even more pointed, having been given the subtitle En la Sombra, or In the Shadow. The contents of Harry's book are likely to be kept top secret, and palace aides have revealed that no members of the royal family have been offered the chance to see any of it before it becomes public. It is understood that the royal household has already been warned that the 416-page £28 book is critical of everyone and everything, and they're dreading it. Harry's relatives could be faced with damaging newspaper headlines if the prince chooses to delve into the most controversial elements of royal life. Harry, who's personally recorded the audiobook version, did not tell his family about the title in advance, and that will be seen as both controversial and provocative in royal circles. A source said, the very title demonstrates yet another confrontational attack on the family after claiming a desire for privacy. Palace lawyers will undoubtedly be on standby in the new year, waiting to see what's in it. Royal author Richard Fitzwilliam said, The consequences of this will be far-reaching and may be highly destructive. According to Fitzwilliams, the title is sensational and implies that Harry was not valued or that he did not feel at the centre of the events. There will undoubtedly be interviews, serialisation and endless speculation about this memoir, Fitzwilliams said adding that he thinks the 38-year-old prince should have waited many years to bring this book out. Even Edward VIII, by then the Duke of Windsor, waited until 1951 before A King's Story was published, he noted. Mark Bukowski, an author and publicity expert, echoed Fitzwilliam's sentiments, predicting that the damage to the royal family will be great. Charles's retaliation could include not giving their children their prince and princess titles, and even withdrawing their own titles of Duke and Duchess of Sussex. Bukowski said of Meghan Markle and the couple's invisible kids, son Archie and daughter Lilibet. Bukowski also agreed that the royal family was likely in for a nervous Christmas as they anticipate the worst. For the new king still planning his coronation, this could not have come at a worse time. Global CEO of Penguin Random House, Marcus Dole said, Penguin Random House is honoured to be publishing Prince Harry's candid and emotionally powerful story for readers everywhere. He shares a remarkably moving personal journey from trauma to healing, one that speaks to the power of love and will inspire and encourage millions of people around the world. 